Welcome to the video number five about ERP Next. Once again, perhaps strange to find ERP Next videos on a drone, ch drone channel, but I just thought it good to share some of the things I find. So by no means am I, am I an ex expert, but I can just point the way and you can dig a little bit deeper, whatever your situation might be. What I'd like to share today is users and permissions. Uh, I'm currently logged in as, as administrator and you can see that I can see everything. All right. Uh, as it's all the icons are available. Okay. Now, obviously, if you're a one man business, this is what you want. You want access to everything. But once you start having people with different functions, you want to be a bit more selective in terms of what people can see. All right. Certainly the guy that does the manufacturing, you would want to keep away the accounting information from him. Just give him information that he needs. Um, and this is what this user's permissions will allow you to do. So let me just show you one or two things uh, that will um, give you an indication of how things work. I've created a user, all right, and that particular user's got login credentials. A um, little bit further down, there's changing the password. I have to do that. The administrator has to actually enter an account and change the password because I've disabled the sign up from the front end. It's configurable. You can choose whatever you are comfortable with. That's the way I've done it. And certainly for this user, I've already selected two functions or roles rather, manufacturing user and manufacturing manager. Now you simply select or deselect it by clicking that radio button and to see what this person or this role actually um, has permissions to perform, you can click on there and it'll show you that it's got read, write, create, etc. permissions onto these document types. All right. And certainly um, as we look, certainly, well, that's got no, but nothing. The accounts manager has got a lot more permissions, etc. These permissions have all been predefined. And if you want to change that uh, to suit your situation, tweak it a little bit, I'll show you just now how that's done. But for the moment, we've assigned those roles to this uh, user. And if you go down to allow modules, all the modules are still visible. All right. So we save this little lot and we log out and now I'm going to log in as that user just to show you the effect sorry about all this logging in and logging out but it is good to see what the effect is all right so now I'm logged in as that user you can still see all, see all the modules but certainly under buying there's a lot less of the icons available. Similarly with stock a little bit more because obviously this is a manufacturing functions so more will be visible. Selling also just a few icons perhaps an item list and a price and certainly on I, on the accounting there's nothing available or visible sorry that's the right, right word. So how do we take this accounting off? I mean, the point is, why do we have that module in the first place? Because there's nothing available there or visible. Um, sorry, let me just first log out. And I'm now going to log in again as administrator. While we wait, obviously, this is a manufacturing setup. All right, um, I just want to show you the domain list. Um, these are, you can actually configure ERP Next for distribution services, retail, manufacturing, education, healthcare, hospital, hospitality, agriculture, or nonprofit. And of course, they all have different 
tables that are visible, uh, but the, the principle is obviously the same for, for all of them. Under your education, you want students to have access to certain modules, whereas your educators will have access to a lot more. And certainly throughout all of these, uh, you can draw similarities. Okay, so uh, we go back to users and permissions. We go back to our user and we click on our user. And um, I just want to quickly show you if you now take that accounts module off. All right. Now we've got to log out again. Sorry about that. But it is nice to see the effect of this. Right. And there you can see the accounts module is missing altogether. And then that way you can customize which modules are visible and which are not. Right, let's log in again as administrator. Right, now, obviously, per user, you can now make the assignments like we've just done, all right? You can go say click, click, click for each particular user in your uh, in your company. Uh, another way to do exactly that is to say, all right, I've actually got a role profile. Let's create one. We call it production, production manager. And we say, what functions do this guy have? He's a stock manager. He's a quality manager. He's a manufacturing manager. And he's a maintenance manager. And while we added an item manager, okay, so we say there's a role profile that has certain roles. So now you can go back to your user and instead of actually making those assignments by hand, you can simply say, I've got a role profile production manager and it actually sets this up properly for you. Okay. Let's just make sure. Yep, there we go. Right. So that's how you set that up. Um, one last thing I want to show you is the role permissions manager. All right, so now you select a role here. Let's have a look at what the manufacturing manager. That's right. Let's do that. Now it lists, remember that screen I showed you with the doc types on the left hand side and the tick, 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 tick table. This is it. So the manufacturing manager has got these permissions on this doc type, request for quotation, supplier quotation, job card, bomb, etc. And if you want to tweak that list that was shown that you couldn't change there where we looked at it, here's your Here's the way you can do it. You can now select that this particular person on a job card can only read it, but it can't write it, or whatever the case may be. All right. So that's the way you can tweak those uh, permissions. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.